guys, welcome back. We got another update on the R1. As you can see from the last video, it's looking way more complete and a lot better now. If you didn't see some of my prior videos, we restored the uh, OEM gas tank and this thing is mint. It is in such good shape after using compound on it and getting rid of all the rust. We have cleaned up the bike pretty good. I used some compound on the rear tail. Like I said, the gas tank and the uh, front cowl, which has some scratches, but now you can't even really tell for the most part. All the fairings are back on. The chain has been serviced. It's been cleaned. It got all the rust off and we looped it and that's all good to go. And uh, stator cover, obviously you saw in the last video, that was all sanded down and that's all good to go. We ended up uh, polishing the muffler. This thing's like a freaking mirror right now. It's a little dirty because I was riding this when we had some salt on the roads, but overall it's uh, not too dirty right now for the most part. Another thing that we did was we lubed up the uh, OEM clutch cable and man, what a difference that makes. I'm telling you, you gotta make sure you end up lubing your cables on these bikes. These, it, it makes a big difference for sure. And if it doesn't, when you did it correctly, it just means that you know your cable was in good shape to begin with, but you'll be surprised how much it does help. So I still haven't got the front tire yet. I need to, as you can see, this thing's pretty shot and you could see the excess salt from when I was taking this on the roads. Um, it's only got a little bit of life left in here, so I'll have to get a new tire pretty soon. That's on the docket. So we're just gonna wait for that. Did end up cleaning up this mirror. I don't know if you saw the previous videos where this mirror was really not looking all that good compared to how that one was. So that one's way better now. Still got a little bit of work to do on it, but that's gonna be like the last thing I'll worry about. Other than that, the bike looks great. And the main part of this video is we are gonna install all these beautiful parts that we got for the R1. <laughs> As you can see these parts look really great i'm really happy with how they came out and of course the price was cheap it is hydro dipped abs plastic that has that twill weave uh, pattern to it so it looks really good it's the same stuff that we put on the s1000 um, you know just because it's cheap so yeah i'm pretty pumped to get rid of this dull stuff it's just like you know it's just the dull black so we're replacing the rear fender the gas tank trims, uh, I guess you could call this part of the air intakes, even though it doesn't have an intake, but that's what they usually call it. And the front fender. I don't know if I'm going to use the front fender. I think I will, because it's still going to have that kind of blackish look to it, but the twill weave part will look good. That front fender is in mint shape, so definitely keeping it in all the other parts, but it should give a nice bling to the bike. All right, let's get right into it. First, we're gonna take off the rear tire hugger. We got three bolts. We got one here, one there, and one right over there. Those are all five millimeter. Just wanted to show you guys, there is a little rubber piece in the middle, which is the grommet, and then they have these little spacers. So make sure you don't lose those when you're taking off the fender because you'll need to use it on the other one. <laughs> Just look at the difference between the two. Obviously that twill weave one looks so much better. It's just got that high gloss finish to it. It's not this, you know, dull stuff. It just looks sick. I can't wait to put this on the bike. Anyway, so we gotta take out these rubber grommets that are in here and transfer them over to this one over here. All right, we got our rubber grommets installed. Now we'll put this on the bike. Wow, that is crazy how just a little change in a part can make it look that much better. All right, next we're gonna take this part off. 
And there's supposed to be a Phillips head screw. I already got that out. And then you got your uh, five millimeter Allen. I really love these bolts that Yamaha has with this little quarter turn. You just end up turning it just a little bit. And there she goes. She's off. Gotta love it. Don't forget to replace the metal retainer clip onto your new piece. Now don't forget that this little part right here has to slide right into there. All right, that part's installed. Now we'll go do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're doing the gas tank trim. Take out the two seat bolts that are right under there and under there. Next, take out the two Phillips head screws on this side and that side. To remove the gas tank trim after the bolt is out, pull it towards the front of the bike and it comes out just like so. Next, to install the trim, you'll see that you have these two little brackets. They go in here. So push them into the slot and then push it back like so. Line this up in the slot and then we'll just pull it back. Next, just install the screw. Next, to get out the front fender, you're gonna have to take out these three bolts. And there is a nut on the back here, so you're gonna have to put a little 10 millimeter wrench in the back while you use your Allen head to take that off. All right, so once all your bolts are out, you just literally grab this and just pull it straight out. So make sure when you're pulling this out, you lift it up and then pull it out and be careful not to scratch your fingers. Next, you're gonna have to replace the hardware that's on your current fender and put it into here. You're gonna have to put the grommets, Take the little spacer thingy out and same with this side as well. So now you're going to install the fender back on here. You're going to have to lift it almost towards the top like it's almost touching the fairing. And then it will just go back down into place and you'll put all your hardware and your other pieces back on. Okay, nice. We have all the pieces installed and it flows with the bike pretty good. I love it. Looks good. Do wish this was a little bit darker, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. But yeah, it looks great with the cloth black. We gotta get this outside in the sun now. Wow, just look how awesome that looks. So much better than before. <laughs> it looks so good, I'm loving it. Freaking loving it. How dope is that? I love how it gives a little bit of like an accent to the uh, gloss black stuff. It looks freaking great. Yeah, so that's how it's currently looking. We're gonna probably have maybe one more episode after this thing and it should be done. The bike's by like 95 or 90% right now for the most part. And then it's just gonna be some little stuff here and there. So stay tuned to see when we finish this project completely.